do is go ahead and start this live video. Um, my name is Felicia. I'm a physical therapist and a lifestyle coach. I help women build and create their dream lives in a body that they love while on a budget that they can afford. So I've been on my 100 pound weight loss journey for a little over a year now, um, like about 52, 53 weeks now. And one of the things that um, as a coach, one of the things that I've been getting questions about is like, which diet is best for me? So I thought that this would be something very interesting and something good that we can go over and kind of chat about today. Um, so you guys know, like if you've been, if you're familiar with my journey, um, this journey started many years ago. I started off doing paleo. Um, I went vegan for three and a half years. I've tried keto. I've literally tried like everything. If you name it, I've probably tried it. The cabbage soup diet, like the cayenne pepper diet, <laughs> whatever it is, like I've definitely tried them before. Um, so I just kind of want to share with you guys like how I arrived to um, which diet is best for me. And just to give you guys about like five tips that I think would be good for you to help also decide which diet may be best for you. I do want to add that whenever I use the word diet, like for me, the term diet is basically just like the way that you eat. It doesn't mean like go on a diet. It's just like the what diet do you eat? Like how, how do you eat, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, I'll also add that for me with each of those diets that I went on, there was definitely something um, that I learned in the process. Like for instance, with paleo, it was the first time that I had actually like really focused on eating whole foods. So I think that all of these, and that is actually, let's just go ahead and go there. How do you decide which diet is best for you? The truth of the matter is whichever one, whichever one you're able to stick with. So with paleo, it was the first time that I started considering like whole foods, right? It was the first time that I started cutting out like processed food, a lot of junk, the standard typical American diet. Like it was the first time that I kind of started moving away from that. And then with veganism, I went vegan for three and a half years. And that was the first time that I had actually started focusing on like nutrition, like nutrients and, you know, lots of fruits and vegetables and eating foods that were good for my body. So that I definitely learned a lot, even though I didn't stay vegan, you know, like forever, like I'm not vegan now, I definitely learned a lot through that process. And then even with keto, that keto was the first time for me that I started like dabbling with intermittent fasting. And it was the first time that I had learned how like fat eating fats could sustain me. Like I didn't know before that, you know, eating um, like fats, good healthy fats keep you fuller over a longer period of time. Like I, that was my first time dabbling with that. And then I also did bright line eating. And that was when I realized that I did have an addiction to sugar. And that's when I was able to cut and stop with that addiction. Um, what type of diet do I eat now? I don't know. <laughs> I think what I did was I kind of took all of those together. I kind of meshed them and I kind of figured out like what was best for me and like what feels good to me. And those are some of the things that we will be talking about and discussing today. Um, so the first thing, the first tip, the first factor that I think you guys that may help you um, if you consider starting any type of diet or trying to figure out which way of eating will be best for you for weight loss is your medical history. Definitely go to a physician or nurse practitioner, somewhat a trusted medical professional, and maybe even have like your lab strong to see like, where is it that you are? Like, are you, in my case, I was um, insulin resistant. Um, do you, where are your vitamin levels? Like, are you low in are you deficient in vitamin B, vitamin D? You know, just kind of like finding out where you are, because ultimately, even though we're losing weight, we, we do want to be healthier. The goal is to be a healthier version of ourselves, not just the weight loss. Right. So we definitely want to see where we're starting off from. Um, the next thing, um, like for me, I wanted to share with you guys, like I, I me and being insulin resistant, that was a big thing. So I kind of had to watch like how much sugar I was taking in. And then even for me, um, five meals a day was not working for me because every time I eat, I was spiking my insulin. And I also learned that, you know, I have a slug, not sluggish thyroid, but, you know, my thyroid, my metabolism isn't as 
um, fast as I would like for it to be. But even though I was like working out consistently, the amount of calories that I was burning in my workouts, like now I'm at a point to where I don't really count those. I just focus more so on the calories that I'm eating. Okay. Next, number two, a key factor that I think you should consider um, would be your values. What are your values? I know that during the time when I was learning about veganism, you know, I was really getting into like, you know, trying to save planet Earth. Um, I was really into like saving the animals. Like I was just, it became something that was so strong and real to me during that time that um, it became a priority for me. So at that point in my life, um, veganism was a high value for me. It was something that, you know, I felt very strongly about. So what are your values? Or is there anything um, like for me, kind of what brought me away from keto, even though I learned, you guys know I'm a self-proclaimed lazy cook. I just try to get in there, get it done and get out. So one of the things with keto is that I was doing what they call lazy keto or dirty keto. And I was eating a ton of fat, like a lot of fat. So for me, I'm sorry, but like having a grandmother that passed away in her 60s, it just did not align with my values. And I know like there's lots of studies about, um, you know, how keto does not contribute to cardiovascular disease and all of that. But the way that I was doing it, I was definitely setting myself up for some type of cardiac issues for sure, because um, I was very high, fi very high fat, eating a ton of meat. And whether it whether it's good or not, you know, whether it's something that would have caused me to lose weight or not, the fact that my I felt my values just didn't line up with it, that was enough because that shifts your energy, which is why I think it's important to do a diet that lines up with your values. So um, the third thing I wanted to talk about was what does your lifestyle look like? I think that a lot of times we, um, wait, I'll pause right here. Are there... Yes, yes, that keto wasn't good, but it's so popular right now. Um, I do want to share, I am not giving you guys um, medical advice right now, but I will share that for me, my belief is that keto is good to use for a certain period of time, right? Like, let's say, for instance, if you're trying to get off a certain amount of weight, in my opinion, it's something that you use for a short period of time to get the weight off. But I personally do not believe that it is something to be sustained for a lifetime. Now, I say that and I'll also say that I know people that have been on keto for years and they're doing great. So again, it's all about your values. But for me, I was looking for something that I knew, I know like that I could do for a lifetime. So that's why I was like, and another thing too for me with keto, I could lose weight. And then the minute I ate like a crouton, <laughs> I would gain like five pounds. I'm not even kidding. Like the minute I reintroduced any type of carbohydrates back into my body, I would start to gain weight. And I also love, you guys have seen on the channel before, I've talked about how much I love like tropical fruits, like um, mango and pineapples and all of those things. So for me, keto was not, was it going to be the one for me? Um, I'll wait if there's any more questions. Okay. So the third thing I think women in particular, not I'm not excluding the men, but I think women in particular should consider is your lifestyle. Like at what phase of life are you currently right now? You know, I think sometimes we start diets or we start a new a new thing and we don't consider like what does our lifestyle really look like are you a new mom do you have a newborn do you have a lot of toddlers that can't cook for themselves and can't feed for themselves do you have kids that are in club sports travel sports are you at basketball practice are you at volleyball practice you know late in the evenings are you not getting home until nine o'clock at night sometimes in our cases it would be like 11 or even closer to midnight. So what does your real life look like? Do you work in the corporate world where you have lunches, business lunches, like every day or every other day? You know, like what does your real life look like? Because whenever you're trying to decide which diet is best for you, 
a lot of times we just leave that piece out and it's so important. You know, you want to find something that you're able to stick with for a long period of time. For I mean, you can always change your mind, but I think you get your best results when you're able to choose a diet and like stick with it for a long period of time. Um, I will say, knowing what I know now, I do believe that every diet works. I believe that paleo works if we work, like if we do the um, diet the way that it's intended and we do our research and we educate ourselves, I definitely believe that they all can work. They all can work, you know, and for instance, like even with veganism or being a vegetarian, sometimes I still kind of like, I deal with a down with like, oh, it would be so cool to go back to that. But knowing the things I do now, had I, if I went back, so when I first went vegan, I was following like a lot of um, popular YouTubers and I was eating, like, let's say for breakfast, I would have like a um, banana smoothie with like six bananas. Knowing what I know now, like I'm insulin resistant. There's no reason why I should have been eating six bananas <laughs> at one time. Like, no, no. And also too, knowing like the way that my thyroid functions, like my body is not, Felicia, you're, you're not even working out that much. Like you can't, it was too much. It was definitely too much for me. So if I were to go back to being like vegetarian or vegan, um, I would definitely focus more on the nutritional part. And if anyone like comes across this live stream, Someone that I think there are two people in the in that space that I'm like, yeah, that's kind of the way that I would eat now. And those people are Tani Raw. She eats like straight for nutrition, lots of green leafy vegetables. Like I just love the way that she eats. And then also to um, I believe her name is High Carb Hannah. Don't get me something like that. Like I also like the way that she eats too. And to me, they eat for nutrition, which is what we all should be doing anyways. You know regardless of what type of diet we're on. So yeah, definitely check your lifestyle and like just see, um, be sure that you're not putting too much pressure on yourself. Um, you have to kind of like look at, are you cooking for two different diets? Are you eating one thing and your family's eating another thing? You know, you kind of got to find like what works for you, like what lines up. Do you have a lot of time to cook? I don't know. Like I, I try to do my meal preps the week before because the truth of the matter is that during the week, I don't have time. Like I just don't have that kind of time to whip up a meal every single night. I don't, it's not realistic. So that's why when you guys see my meal preps, usually they're done one day of the week and then we have food for the entire week. So regardless, again, of whatever type of diet you're trying to follow, be sure that it aligns with your lifestyle. And then the fourth thing I think we need to realize that we don't always consider first is the budget. Whenever you're trying to start a new diet, what does your budget look like? Like, are you in a financial situation right now where the price of food doesn't matter? I know like for a lot of us with like with the price of food and inflation right now, geez, oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. So always consider your budget because whatever you start with, remember that this is something that you're trying to do for your entire life. You're wanting to do this forever. So, hey, that's my friend Keisha. Hey, if you guys are, um, if any of you are on a weight loss journey and you would like some inspiration, definitely go to Keisha's channel. She's amazing. I love following her journey. Hey, yes, I'm so glad you're here. But yes, so definitely consider your budget because as I was seeing, it's something that you want to do for a long period of time. If you're doing um, keto, I'm sure there's like vegan and vegetarian options out there. But for the most part, the way that I was doing it, it, cons it consisted of a lot of protein. So like meat, um, like beef, chicken, fish, all of those things. And they can be pretty expensive. So just be sure that you're able to, like you can combine like keto with maybe intermittent fasting. So maybe you're eating the high quality um, proteins, but you're just not eating as many times a day or something like that. Or if you're considering veganism, you know, rice and pasta is still pretty affordable, um, but just make sure you're getting in those fruits and vegetables as well. All right. So the fifth and final thing that I think we should all consider whenever we're trying to decide which diet is best for us on our weight loss journey is trial and error. Definitely allow yourself to experiment. 
I used to beat myself up so badly. Like I would try something and then this doesn't work. <laughs> and I would just like throw it out the window and we can't do that. Or at least we shouldn't. You can, but you shouldn't. Allow yourself the space and opportunity to try for a few months to see how your body feels. How are you responding? How are you doing in your workouts? How are you feeling throughout the day? Are you tired? Are you sluggish? Are you feeling more energized? You know, allow yourself the time and space to where you can really see how your body is responding to whatever diet it is that you choose. Um, anytime I would try, just so says, anytime I would try to diet, I would jump on what was popular and it never lasted too long. Slimmy gummies, <laughs> diet pills. Yes, I did it too. Listen, I never, I never tried like the Slimmy gummies. One time I tried um, diet pills. I'm trying to think of the name. I want to say they were Fentramine. This was like years ago. I was, I tried Fentramine and you guys, like I, I was also drinking coffee. So I would have coffee, go teach spin class, come back, take my Fentramine, drink more coffee. And like throughout the day, I thought my heart was going to jump out of my chest. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I was like, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to die. <laughs> So yeah, definitely. I tried all of that. Yes, love experiment. And so happy I tried raw. Yes, raw diets. Many people love raw diets. Um, they get lots of benefits from it. And I will say, the more fruits and vegetables I eat, the more clarity I do have. So that's a good thing. Um, tried diet pills and almost passed out. I was like, whoa, what, what is going on? Like I could feel my... I could put my hand here and like feel my heart pumping. It was insane. Took Fentramine and lost a lot of weight and then got pregnant with the six. Oh my goodness. So when you took Fentramine, it actually, it worked. It helped you. So that's pretty, that's good. That's good. That's why I say we have to experiment. And then, you know, sometimes too, we'll see one thing may work for one person, but then it may not work for another. And it doesn't mean that that diet doesn't work or that that um, method of weight loss doesn't work. It just means that you've got to keep experimenting until you find out what works best for you. And I think that we just don't give ourselves, we don't allow ourselves that that type of space. Like if someone, if someone else is doing something and they're getting results and then we try and we don't, it's like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> What did I do wrong? And the truth of the matter is, one, you may not have given it enough time. Or two, that's probably just not the right thing for your body. Like I said before, I used to try to do the five to six small meals a day. And now, knowing that I'm insulin resistant, every time I eat, I was spiking my blood sugars. So now I try my best to only stick to three meals a day. And every now and then I'll do a little bit of intermittent fast, but I don't do a lot of intermittent fast. I mainly use that for vacation. But yeah, you definitely just have to kind of see what, what works best for you. Yes. And then I'll also say too, um, one of the mistakes that I made when I went vegan was I was watching, like you, I was watching everyone else. I was um, watching a lot of YouTubers that were eating a ton of calories because the mindset that I had at that time is what they were saying about how um, if you're vegan, right, then you, or vegetarian, you need to eat more. You need to consume more because um, the foods have less calories than, or they're more caloric dense, let's call it that, than like if you're eating meat. Well, I took that and I just swung with it. So I thought like, I can just eat, you know, I got to, I got to eat, I got to eat. But if you're eating 3,500 calories a day, 2,500 calories a day, and your body's only burning, you know, so many, like, let's say I'm just throwing a number out 1,500, then you're going to gain weight. Like no wonder I was gaining weight, you know? So, and I was following a lot of YouTubers that were like super small. So I should have known like, and they were living, you know, in Hawaii and hiking every day. So why did I think that I can eat what they were eating? I don't, I don't know. No idea. But yeah, definitely um, find something, trial and error, see how your body responds to it. Take notes, take notes and see how your body responds and then kind of go from there. Do you guys have any questions for me?
in the comment section. And again, I do apologize that that first link was not working. I have no idea what happened. I just could not, I couldn't log into it. Keisha, I don't know, has that ever happened to you where you schedule the live stream and then you can't go live on the one that you scheduled? I don't know. So I'll wait a little bit. I know sometimes there's a little delay. So this morning, guys, so far I've done five miles. I've started using a new fitness planner and I'll probably do a video. It's actually close by. I'll probably do a video here um, in the next few weeks and share my fitness planner with you guys. But it's from the Happy Planner. And what I've learned about myself is that if I write it down, then I'm more likely to do it. So, yeah, so just to be able to check off that I did the workout is, <laughs> I'm loving it. So I get to check off that I did my five miles this morning and I'm still walking. I kind of like jogged that last one, the last mile, but that's because I was getting tired of being on the treadmill. But yeah, so I'm just happy that I'll be able to cross that off after this live is done and I still need to do abs. But yeah, if you guys want like, if you want me to do a video about like my fitness planner and my workouts and all of that stuff and how I simplified my workouts, I would love to share that. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends. I'll wait a little bit longer. Um, my biggest problem is thinking I need someone to diet with, oh my gosh, diet with me and I won't do it. Yes. Yes, that was me. That was me. Okay, let's be honest. So whenever I will start a diet, I will put the whole house. I'm whispering because everybody's home. I will put the whole house on a diet. Like <laughs> I tried to make it easier for myself. I was like, you know, they're going to eat what I eat. Like this is what we're doing. I would announce it like, oh, you know, I'm doing this diet now. This is what we're going to eat. Because for me, I felt like it would be easier if everyone was eating the same thing, right? Be doesn't that make sense that I could just cook one meal? That didn't work well. That did not work well because kids will be kids and chicken nuggets and French fries and mac and cheese will still find its way inside of the home somehow. Even if most times I'm the one buying it, you know, because they, they like what they like, you know? And then um, whenever I was counting calories, watching everyone else get up and go for seconds. And I know like, you no, know, you've had your 300, 500 calories, you're done. That was hard too, especially when I cooked something that was yummy. Like I wanted to eat it too. So yes, I also struggled with, um, not having someone to do it with me. And I struggle with that with working out too. I always wanted to, you know, I wanted someone to go work out with me or um, walk with me, run with me. Like, not like I needed the accountability partner, but it was just more fun. It was more, I guess you could say motivating when I had someone else with me. So yeah, I feel you on that. But I'll say this time around, I was like, I'm doing this for myself, do or die. I am going to do this. And I think you just have to get it in your mind that you're doing this for you. Like no one's coming to save you. That's literally, I was like, Felicia, no one's coming to save you. And honestly, my husband can eat. He can eat almost whatever he wants. He He's on his feet all day at work. He's burning tons of calories, you know? And then if he decides he wants to lose weight, he'll do like some push-ups and run them out for like a couple of days. And then he's back to his normal weight. That's not my story. <laughs> I was putting away every year, every year. I was gaining at least 15 pounds every year, every single year. And finally, I was like, okay, you have to do this for yourself. Like no one's going to save you. No one's going to do it for you. No one can control what we put in our mouths. And for the most part, right? Most of us can feed ourselves. So no one's, no one can do that for you. You have to do it for yourself. And I know it's hard. That's why That's why I think that um, the factors that I talked about today are so important, you know? Like, look at your lifestyle, look at your budget, trial and error, your values, take all of that, put it together, sit down, you know, and just kind of like talk to yourself and ask like, okay, where do I stand when it comes to my medical history, my values, my lifestyle, 
you know, find out where you stand and then find something that you can do for a long period of time. And I think you'll find so much success. If you have any more questions, drop them in the comment section. If you want, we can even do, um, I don't know, like if you're in the middle of something right now, but we can even go through a couple of things. Like what are some of the foods that, um, what type of foods do you like? What type of foods do you enjoy? Like for me, I'm one of those people where I like like salty stuff. I'm not crazy about a lot of sweets. I know some people are. My mom, oh my goodness, she loves her sweets. Um, she definitely has a sweet tooth. And it's been that way since she was a kid. But I like salty foods. So for me, I was okay with giving up sugar. But that may not be the solution for everyone. I don't know if you're able to, because you could be like in the middle of work or something. But if you can drop into the comment section, like what type of foods you like, and maybe we can kind of develop some things from there. I'll give you a little time because I know there's a delay. Veggies. Okay, that's good. Um, do you like sugar? Like, do you like um, sweet stuff or are you more like a salty, savory type? Because veggies are actually very low calorie. And that's actually a hack that I've learned to use, which is why I tend to eat a lot of salads. Like at night, I tend to have salads because honestly, it's like a way in which if I, not like I'm binge eating, but like I can eat a large volume of salad and it's not a lot of calories. Like I can eat uh, salty. Okay, so we're pretty similar. All right, so um, I would just recommend trying. Try to cut sugar. I think, okay, so let's go back. I just want to drop a few tips in here in case someone's watching this in the replay. With veganism, veganism, and this is everything that I know now. I didn't know all of this before. Veganism is most successful when you're high carb, but lower fat. It's the combination of the carbs and of high carbs and high fat that causes us a lot of issues. So keto is successful when you're high fat, but low carb. Okay. So just remember those two. So I do what I would consider like a, like somewhere in the middle. Um, so I tend to eat low, lower carbs. Um, but I do eat lots of veggies and I also eat fruit. So just try maybe cutting the sugar factor and see if that helps you. Or even like a low carb diet, I think you would probably benefit from that as well. Just try because what you want to do is you want to try something that is easiest for you, something that's like not a struggle. Like for instance, if you, like you said, you love veggies and you're more of a salty person, so cutting sugar, because most people are either or, so cutting sugar would probably help. And remember, like um, French fries and chips, I don't recommend that you eat those, but you could technically get away with small portions of that. But you can't have, like, I can't eat like popcorn and cake. You know, the combination, mm -mm, no bueno. But Give it a try and let me know. Um, let me know how that works for you, and give it a few weeks too, because I think that you may be able to see some results. And everyone knows hydration is so important. Drinking your water. Um, I can't even. I mean, I'll go through periods where I'm not drinking enough and I'm like, why am I gaining weight? And it's just because I'm dehydrated, you know, and my body's inflamed. So definitely be sure to get your water in. All right, guys. Again, deepest apologies. I'm so sorry that it log wouldn't allow us to log into the other link, but we got it done here. And I'm so happy for everyone that joined and everyone that watches this in the replay. I would love it if you would give it a big thumbs up and I would try my best to not allow what happened to happen again. I'll watch a few YouTube videos to see exactly what happened with that. Um, but yeah, 
I think that's all that we have for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.